Okay, hi. In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how to make stop frame animation using a program that most of us have, because it comes standard, Windows Movie Maker. Now, Windows Movie Maker, a lot of people bash it because they think it's quite basic. And while it is admittedly quite basic, there are, you know, add-ons that you can find over the internet to make it a much better program. That is the only problem I've ever really found with it is that it doesn't reverse footage. But for most things that it doesn't do, there's some way that you can cheat it. And stop frame animation is one of these. And it's very simple to do. Kind of a long process, but all in all, it's fairly easy. Um, all you need is two things. You need a digital camera and a subject of your film. This toy robot will be fine. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Windows Movie Maker, and I'm going to show you now what you need to do. Okay, first of course you need to import all the photos of your animation. So here, what I'm intending to do is to make this robot here dance, and here you can see various steps that I've taken in the animation. Okay, and I'm about to show you what my final product will look like, to show you a bit of how this should work. Okay, well now that that's out of the way, you can see that this works fairly well, this process. So, I'm going to show you now what you need to do. Okay, first of all, very simply, all you need to do is import all of your pictures and drag them onto this timeline here. Okay, so when that's done, you're left with what's going to be your animation. As you can see, there's a lot of photos in there. Now, if I play this, you'll see that it runs very slowly because each film, each photo here is taking up about three seconds worth of footage. Now, when we edit this down, you've seen how quick it's going to go, and this is how you do this. Okay, first of all, there's this little button here, which I hope you can see, which will let you zoom in. Now, you need to zoom in as far as possible before it turns grey. Stop your film. Okay. Now you need to go here to video effects and down to the bottom of this list to speed up double. And then you need to drag this onto your picture. Now you need to do this a few times and I've worked out that probably four or five is probably the best amount. And that's how quick your photo will go. Now if I play this You've seen how fast that that photo's gone. I'll do it again for this one. Two, three, four, five. And again for this one. One, two, three, four, five. Turn to the start and then play it. And you'll see that that's how it works. Okay, so after that's done, all you need to do is repeat those steps over and over and over until you've done it for every frame of the animation, and then save the file. It's pretty simple, it takes quite a long time, and if you're planning on making a long series of movies, well, that's kind of wrong, if you're planning on making a long video, it does take quite a while. Um, there is a problem with this, and I've noticed that if you're making a film of any considerable length at all, even over 10 seconds, it tends to slow um, Windows Movie Maker down quite a lot. And there's a good way to get around this. If you take a chunk of the animation, say 5 seconds worth, and animate that, and then save that as a movie file, and then do that, and then you'll have a bunch of movie files that you can incorporate into it. So that instead of having still images, you're having 5 seconds of footage at each time. If you do that, then it does tend to work and it won't slow down as much. Okay, so that's how you make stop frame animation in Windows Movie Maker. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it your own. Thanks. See you later.